Hey YouTube, Free California here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a ballistic helmet sold by BallisticHelmetCompany.com. They were kind enough to send me this helmet to check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is just a quick overview. We're going to go over all the features that this helmet has. Then we're going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to tell you the things I like and then something that I don't like. And then after that we're going to talk about maybe some uses for this helmet. Why would you even want to get a helmet? So first off you can see here it has the mount for NVGs and uh, you know a small plethora of other items and this is made of aluminum so you know it's nice high strength high quality and then you get your bungees here to keep your NVGs from wiggling back and forth on both sides we have arc rails and on this side I used the Picatinny piece that was included to go ahead and just mount this little uh, streamlight TLR1 HL just so you guys could see that you can in fact mount something on here um, I'm sure there's better lights to mount but this light is really bright so it, it's not a bad option either and so we got hook and loop all over the top here and the sides any of you who've been in the military probably know you can probably do your blood type on here and then you also most likely want to do some sort of IR little patch something like that so you could be designated from a friendly or as a friendly instead of you know as an enemy also you know anybody who's prepared and happens to have some NVGs and stuff that'd be pretty cool too uh, to be able to tell you know who's with your group and who's not on the other side here we have another arc rail and then this is some sort of a quick release little mount that just slides in and out and then clips into place I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to go on here I haven't really done too much research into that um, but you know it is something that you could do something else you could put on there so then we go to the bottom here and we can see that it has pretty nice padding all throughout and they are on more hook and loop so you can actually adjust them forward and back sideways to fit however your head fits you know we all have different shaped heads so that makes it pretty convenient for that and it's got here a really easily adjustable chin strap and it has some leather on the inside and then you can just pull these tabs right here just pull it and it'll tighten it up and then there's four of those and then here in the back you have this rotating dial and that'll bring it in and out so this will adjust from 21 to 25 inches so that should fit most people this is actually a level 3a helmet so it pretty much should stop most pistol caliber rounds. The weight on this is 2 pounds and 14 ounces. So it's pretty light, although if you're not used to wearing any sort of a weight on your head, I would recommend building up the strength in your neck because you know, you'll feel it at first. It's comfortable, but it is a little heavy when you're not used to doing it. So I recommend if you're planning on wearing it um, for anything to uh, do some training on it. Just training with it, just wear it around your house. Uh, you know, wear it while you're mowing the lawn so your neighbors will look at you funny. But, you know, just build up your neck strength. It'll be worth it for when you actually need to use it for something other than just to train in. And then this thing also comes in black, the OD green, which I have here. And then it also comes in a FDE, which is a pretty cool color as well. I almost got that one instead of this color. But this color is pretty cool. It matches my other gear. So... <sighs> Now that you've seen everything on the helmet itself, the one thing that I don't like, and it's only because it's not what I'm used to, it's not because it's not good enough, I just haven't put it through the paces to know if it's good enough yet, is the straps for the chin strap here. Compared to what was on my helmet in the Marine Corps, it seems pretty thin. Um, and I don't know if it's a problem or not. I don't know if it's a bad thing. This is also a much lighter helmet than the one I wore in the Marine Corps. Uh, but it's something I noticed off right off the bat. And like I said, I haven't had any problems with the, the thinner, you know, strap. But it's just something I noticed. And it, I don't know, it's just touching it. You feel like, you know, well, maybe this could have been a little thicker. But like I said, I've had no problems. I've not heard of anybody having any issues with that. So that's just more of a personal preference at this point in time. 
you know, but as I continue to wear it and stuff, if I end up having any problems, I'll let you guys know. But as of now, I've had zero problems, not even a little bit. So going on to the adjustability, this thing is great. And I will say that within, you know, 30 seconds of having this helmet out of the box, I had it sized up perfectly to fit my head. It was really comfortable. Um, and you know, it just, it's just nice and snug. It fits far more comfortably than uh, the helmet that I wore when I was in the Marine Corps. And the cool part about it was within 30 seconds after that, I was able to tighten it up to a smaller setting and then I had my wife try it on and it fit her perfectly as well. So if you have, you know, a wife or, you know, younger children or something like that, then it is possible that this will fit them as well. Um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, if you get one for yourself, you can always try it on uh, for the kids. I can't remember if I said it before, but they are selling this for $350, uh, which compared to a lot of the other brands I've seen is a great price. It really, it really is. I mean, I've seen some of them going for a thousand dollars for what looks like the same helmet to me. Um, you know, so I, I think this is a good price. There, there are videos of people shooting this helmet. You know, I wanted to get this helmet and I wanted to be able to do some training in it and stuff like that. So I don't plan on shooting this helmet as of now. However, in the future, you know, that's up for debate. It's something that I may do. But for now, you know, I plan on keeping it and training with it. And, you know, I'm, I just am pleased overall with it. You know, like I said, other than the strap, which I'm not sure if it's even an issue or if it's just a personal thing. Um, but other than that, it's solid. Um, it's actually tested out of house. It's done by a private test facility. And they've also had, you know, YouTubers uh, shoot their helmet as well. And it's, it's proved itself. It hasn't failed at all. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, at this point in time, now that I've talked a lot about the helmet and its features and what I like and don't like, uh, let's just move on to, you know, a little bit of the purpose for owning one of these helmets. So <clears throat> as far as I see it, if you're going to own any body armor, if you're going to own a chest rig, you know, you could spend about the same for, for a helmet. And if you have time to put on a chest rig, you know, it doesn't take but half a second to put on a helmet as well. So if you're going to be defending your home or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, I think this is something worth having, especially at this lower price point. Other than that, you know, what other uses do you see for this? You're like, okay, well, you know, if I expected somebody to come into my house and to, you know, shoot me up or whatever, and I'm going to have to defend myself on that. Yeah, that'd be great. But I don't expect it to happen. Well, you know, another possible use for this is just as a, a rescue helmet, you know, it's a little bit outside of the parameters of like a standard, you know, construction helmet. But, you know, if you live in earthquake country, which I do, uh, and you're going to be attempting to rescue people, you know, there really is a danger of things falling on your head um, if you're going into a building after somebody trying to get them out. So, you know, I see a helmet as beneficial in that way. You know, yes, you could do it with a different helmet, but if you have this one, you know, I mean, that's another use for it. It's also cool for, you know, just shooting stuff. You can actually mount on, you know, a GoPro or some sort of, you know, other small little action camera onto this helmet. So if you want your first person perspective, but don't actually want to mount your camera on your rifle, you know, that's another pretty cool option for it. Other than that, you know, I mean, how many of your friends that you know have their own ballistic helmet. I mean, it's just, it's cool on top of everything else. You know, it, it's a cool thing to be able to show your buddies and uh, mess around with. And then if you ever, the day ever comes where you need it, you know, you'll be really glad you had it. Um, however, I would assume that most of us hope that that day never comes, but I'd rather be prepared and not ever need it than to need it and not have it. So, so I think that's about it for now. I think I'll probably pull the camera down and just show you guys what the helmet looks on looks like on me. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that, uh, you know, in my previous videos, I had a little bit more of a beard than I do now. I just kind of have some stubble. Um, and I look like an idiot when I put the strap on with my beard poking through the side. 
So <laughs> that's just something to note. You you might not look as cool and as operator as you think you will um, with your beard. <laughs> At least that was my case, but I don't grow very good beard as it is. So anyway, so I'm gonna readjust the camera. And I'm gonna throw this sucker on and then I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a rotational view for you guys to check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the helmet and then uh, I'll do a little spin around so you guys can see. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's a little off, but you know, it's what I got right now. So, fits perfect. And then you actually have a very quiet snap on here, so if sound is an issue, then it's something that, uh, you know, it's not gonna be a huge issue. Uh, so then you can see here, I got my little light. You know, it's nice, I can just flick it on and then I can walk around the house. I can clear the house without having to have, uh, you know, a light in my hand. Although if you had a weapon light, then it's not an issue. Uh, as much either, but it's nice to have it as an, an option at least. So I'll just do a little slow rotate. So for any of you who are wondering, uh, as far as, uh, you know, my uh, helmet size in the Marine Corps, I wore a medium helmet. You know, I don't have a huge head, but, uh, you know, this fits very comfortably and it could fit a larger head as well. So. Uh, you know, I really advise you guys to check these guys out. Uh, below, I should have a coupon code that'll be good for a while, and it uh, should get you like 50 bucks off of one of these helmets. If you're looking to get one for somebody for Christmas or something like that, you know, I think it's a perfect gift, uh, especially for somebody who wants to be prepared. Um, in the future, I'll do some shooting videos with this. Um, I would like to do some sort of, you know, kind of run and gun style uh, training where I use this helmet uh, kind of like I did in the Marine Corps uh, I think it'd be fun and it'd be good training so anyways at this point in time I'd like to say hey thanks guys for watching and God bless America long live the Second Amendment and we'll see you next time